Hi, I'm Samir Jain. Academia, you know, is a strange place. It forces you to confront questions that you would otherwise uh, not ponder upon. One of them is, uh, do we need a God in today's age? So some folks feel that humans no longer need God to explain the unknown rather than turning to faith or uh, religious tradition. Modern society should rely on scientific and reasoned uh, inquiry to address today's challenges and uh, questions. Uh, in fact, that's what uh, they do here at the Belfer Center. And morality is independent of uh, God. So from the op oppression of women and uh, LGBT people to the institution of uh, slavery and uh, genocide, uh, religious groups have used faith to justify some of society's worst practices and religion is often blamed for its spectacular uh, excesses whether in promoting persecution or warfare but but it gets less credit for its staple function of patching up the quote-unquote uh, moral fabric of society uh, perhaps it doesn't uh, deserve either blame or credit. If religion is seen as just a means of generating social uh, cohesion, it is society and its leaders that put that cohesion to good or bad ends. Uh, there, are many, there are many that feel that a belief in God uh, stifles uh, modernization. Uh, studies show that, uh, in fact, intensely religious countries are uh, less uh, innovative and they produce less patents than those that aren't. I'm not sure if there is a correlation, uh, but it is science rather that has been the heart of innovation and discovery. However, uh, to argue the other way, there are those who take the opposite side and we know for a fact and uh, Frank Wilczek and others uh, have sort of proved it that only 4% of the universe is known matter and the rest remains a deep dark uh, mystery. So science alone cannot illuminate or explain this large gap and uh, they say that scientific progress requires God. Uh, I think even Einstein said that. So the creators of today's most powerful innovations from, from nuclear weapons, the internet, to gene editing technologies, they require awareness of consciousness and must be guided by a belief in a common good to ensure that these technologies don't uh, destroy society as a whole. And uh, there's a lot of talk about secularization, uh, particularly in academia, but the numbers don't bear that out. The secularization thesis seems to be a myth. Uh, the numbers show that the world's Christian and Muslim populations are continuing to grow, even if uh, younger generations don't uh, attend uh, church too much. So the question is, does God have a place in 21st century human affairs? For many, the answer is an unapologetic yes. Uh, a belief in a higher power, they argue, is the foundation of uh, human consciousness and the soul of all practical, social and uh, scientific uh, progress. Uh, further, some claim that humans are biologically predisposed to, to embrace uh, religion and they require faith to live moral lives. Uh, others, including many people uh, that, that write papers here, are far more skeptical. For them, adherence to faith and religious uh, tradition serves only to fracture communities and it prevents uh, humanity from embracing a much more enlightened, reasoned and just uh, social order. So, as we look to the future in very uncertain times, should spirituality and religion pay a central role in human evolution, in innovation, in discovery, or has God become obsolete? Uh, we know that religion is both a force of good and evil because religion is a man-made institution, though some might say God isn't, and human beings are both good and evil. So does religious faith lead to healthy behaviors? Or is it something else independent of faith uh, that causes them? 
after all interest in spirituality has been booming in in the past 10 20 years many years in fact longer than that uh, while interest in religion plummets uh, especially amongst millennials the young generation and many of them say that it's not necessary to believe in God to be moral uh, and an equal number say that it is uh, necessary I leave it to you to decide I thought I would surface some issues that uh, that I've sort of uh, come across recently thank you so much for listening in bye bye <laughs>